hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel today so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this booboo kaftan dress with a big v neckline design as you can see this is something i made for a friend of mine so if you're interested in learning how to go about this please keep on watching and if you're still yet to subscribe to the channel hit on the subscribe button and let's get started So guys, to make this dress, you will need just two different types of fabrics. So you need a, uh, a black fabric. This one I have here is about half yard and it is a duchess fabric. Okay. Now you will need an African print of your choice. And um, this one I have here, I have four yards of fabric. This is because my client is quite tall and she also needs a little bit of hair tie. So what I have here is four yards and um, yeah, I think it's actually best to have about four yards of fabric so that you don't have any need to start joining the fabric. Okay, so for the length of this dress from the top of one border to the other, we have about 45 inches and that is not enough for the length that my client is for this booboo and I really do not want to join the length of this dress. So I'm going to use the longer part of my Ankara fabric so I'm going to fold it in the other direction like this I'm folding it into two first I hope you guys actually understand what I'm trying to say so now I'm going to take my measurement from this length here so from here I'm going to measure to the length that this dress is going to be so yeah it's about somewhere around here so I'll just arrange it again because she needs a little bit of hair, hair tie so that um, I don't end up having to join the hair tie. So I'm folding the fabric again to get exactly to the length that I need this dress to be. So just go ahead and fold it into two first as I'm doing like this. Once it's done, fold it again into four. So once you're done folding it into four, go ahead and iron it out so that it will be easy for you to cut on. So guys, I'm done now with the ironing. It's folded into four so one two three and four and then this edge here that is folded is where we are going to be taking our neckline measurement from okay so now for the width of my neckline because I'm drafting on the actual fabric I will just mark it out now at two and a half inches so that by the time we are done sewing it will fall into three inches now for the depth I'll come down by two inches and just connect the two of them into a round neckline okay now from the center i'm going to measure half of her shoulder measurement and mark it here so mark half of your shoulder measurement now from the shoulder measurement point you're going to determine how long you want the sleeve to be now for this particular client she wanted the sleeve to be about 14 inches but because we are going to be having a black design at the end of this sleeve okay so instead of marking it exactly at 14 inches i marked it at about 12 inches point so once you're done marking this the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is just draw a simple line across now i'm going to go ahead and have my shoulder slope so i'm just coming down by one inch on this line and i'm going to connect it all the way to the top of my neckline this one is actually optional so you can decide to omit this part now from this new shoulder line you're going to measure down to how wide you want the sleeve to be okay now i am going to make this point as like the 14 inches line because we need some allowances to join this on the top and also on the side okay so i marked it at 14 inches now from the shoulder i measured down to 12 inches which is my client's bust line now my client has a bust of 45 inches and a hip of 45 inches so now i just divided the bust measurement into four i made a point here and then added an extra five inches to that from that point because this is supposed to be a free dress okay now if your hip is the biggest part of the body of your body which is like the case for most people just go ahead and divide your hip measurement by four make a point and then add extra five or four inches to that point and just use that measurement to measure all the way down i am using the bust measurement here because like i said before my client's bust is 45 and her hip also is 45 so we can use the same thing 
but make sure to use your hip measurement if your hip is more than your bust now i've gotten to the end and i'm just going to extend it here this is where the dress is going to end so i already added stitching allowance to join it at the end okay so now this is the full dress i am going to go ahead and cut it out so for now we have only cut out a round neckline which is the back neckline that we have used to cut out both the front and the back so now i'm going to go ahead and remove one of the two pieces because we've cut out the front and back together just remove one of them so that we'll now change the neckline of the other piece into a v neckline okay so now for the v neckline i'm placing my tape on the back neckline like this as you can see and i slanted it in a v manner and marked a point at the 10 inches point on my tape then i decided that i my client might not like her neckline to be so deep so i decided to go up from that point by an extra one inch so i marked this at the nine inches point instead of 10 inches okay so i am going to use my ruler now to just connect this point to the side neckline and i'll go ahead and cut out the v neckline so yeah this is basically how to go about it and when you open it it's a v neckline so this is going to be the front of our dress now for the design around the neckline i have folded this black fabric into two when you are folding your fabric make sure it's wide enough and make sure it's long enough to get to around your waist area because that's how long the black design is going to be on the dress okay so from the center fold you're going to place the neckline your front neckline exactly on it you can decide to iron it out to make it straight and then as you can see i went ahead to pin it down and then i'm going to cut the neckline and the shoulder area as well now you can remove your pins and remove the front pattern now the neckline has been drawn into this black fabric as you can see you're now going to determine the length of your black design and it's going to end on my client's waist so her waist measurement is 17 i just marked it down here and then for the width i decided to mark from the neckline here i'm going into the shoulder area by five inches so at first i decided to just go in by that five inches following the neckline but by the time i was joining the point i realized that it's not necessary so you just make the first point and then the one underneath that is all so you see as i'm trying to join them together these other three points are not really necessary so what you just do is use your um, chalk to join from this point all the way to this one here to give you a v neckline shape and go ahead and cut it out so i'm not cutting exactly on the line i am cutting about half inch away so that i will be able to stitch it down so now this is it if you open it up you can see it's v now you're going to bring your front pattern and you're going to be placing the neckline so face the wrong side of the fabric towards you and also face the wrong side of the black um, pattern towards you so let the wrong sides be facing you for this very first stitch that you're going to do so i'm pinning the black neckline around the neckline of my fabric just like you see me doing like this so now i'm going to go ahead and make a stitch here around the neckline so guys i've stitched it down now and i'm just going ahead to make notches around the neckline this is for it to be easy for me to turn over to the right side before we iron it out so guys once you're done making your notches like i'm doing here you're going to go ahead and turn everything over to the other side just like you see me doing you bring in your ironing whatever it is that you used to iron and you're just going to go ahead and iron it really nicely make sure it's well ironed so that the neckline will look nice and clean so guys once you're done ironing you're going to go ahead and fold the edges as you can see i'm folding it and also using my iron to secure it in place just go ahead and do the same thing if you even have hemi gum you can use hemi gum to just put it in place just so it will be easy for you to stitch down on the sewing machine so i'm going to continue with this onto the other end as well you might have to cut off the uh, edges of the v points because you want it to be very pointed now once you're through with this you're going to go ahead and just um stitch it across 
I decided to just use pins to just hold it in place before going over to the sewing machine to make top stitch around the ends of my V shape. So guys, I am done making stitches across the edges and this is what it looks like. So you have to be very patient when you're doing this because there's a high chance of it bending <laughs> if you don't do it well. Now for the back piece, remember that our back piece is going to be having a simple round neckline. I have cut out a facing for the back and I've gone ahead to stitch the ends of the facing. I'm just going to place this around the neckline and stitch it down, then turn it over and iron it out. I'm through with that and this is what it looks like so see this is what it looks like right now so we are going to be joining the back piece and the front together so I've brought the front right here as you can see and I'm going to cover it up with the back pattern so I'm going to be using the facing of the back to cover everything around and I'm just going to go ahead and pin down the shoulders so just like I'm doing like this Go ahead and pin down the shoulders i'll do the same thing for the other side as well and once you're true pinning it down it's very simple just go ahead and make a stitch here and here as well so guys i'm done stitching it down on the shoulder as you can see now the next thing is for us to go ahead and add the black design around the sleeve remember i reduced the length of the sleeve earlier because of this black design so what i have here now is about three and a half inches by the time i add it it will reduce to about three inches so i've gone ahead to fold one edge to scale one edge and the other edge is not folded so the part that is not folded is where we are going to be pinning towards the end of our sleeve like this so just place them right sides facing each other you can decide not to pin it down but for the sake of this tutorial i decided to pin it in place just so you guys will understand what i'm trying to say and then you cut off the excess now this other one is going to be enough for the other sleeve so this is what it's going to look like by the time i'm done so i'll go ahead and just stitch this down here so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching it down as you can see and i went ahead to overlock the ends so that it looks nice this is what the other side is looking like as well now i'm going to go ahead and turn everything to the wrong side and arrange the sides so that we can go ahead and stitch down the sides so now we're going to go ahead and stitch from the sleeve all the way through to the body just continue to arrange it until you get to the end of the dress just from here all the way through to the end and of course you're going to do the exact same thing for the other side as well so guys i'm done stitching it down now on the side as you can see all the way to the end and i folded the edges as well just to finish it up i've done the same thing on the other side as well so this is the final look of our dress I am going to be hemming the neckline for the back later and that will basically be all for this so this is the full dress all made it's actually very simple the only technical part is just the v-neckline that you have to just be very patient with okay so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one